All right, we are getting ready to prepare this octopus for a catch, clean, and cook. I got the salt. Close him down. Cleaning the table. Put a little bleach down at the filet station here. All right, Judah wants to go get the mallet. What do you think, Drift? Huh? Drift, what do you think? Are you ready to do this thing? Let's do it. All right, you go first. It's still changing color. 24 hours later. And, and it was in the refrigerator. Holy crap, that's insane. Wow. All so right. this is the uh, biggest octopus I've ever caught. Miami. A Miami octopus. Miami octopus. It's gonna be delicious. I've never it's... had octopus before. Well, I have, uh, I caught one in Fort Lauderdale and then I caught one in uh, Hawaii. And Justin Lee over in Hawaii taught me how to clean it and prepare it and uh, So now you're gonna teach me how to clean it. I'm gonna prepare teach it. you. <laughs> Yay. So I'm no expert first, but you gotta first clean it. There's the beak in here. Oh yeah. You gotta cut out the beak. Guts. This is actually the beak here. I'm actually, cut this open. What do you think, Drift? This is their mouth that I was trying to stay away from yesterday. Oh, I know you're wrestling that thing. These little teeth, these little, this little beak right here. Oh man. Oh, let's see how sharp it is. Oh, that is strong. That would definitely Probably hurt. take a little chunk out of you. <laughs> yeah, it would. Out of your hand. Oh man, now I have octopus slime on my fingers. Man. Wait, is this the brain? What is this? This is the head I just folded it inside out. Um. So you fold the head inside out? I guess you have to get this stuff out of the head. Like I said, I'm no expert. I don't know. What? We're just winging it over here. This is the, definitely something we don't want here. Some guts. Oh, all the ink. And the ink sack. Any tips on how to fillet an octopus? Let us know. This one's bigger than your one in Hawaii. Oh yeah. Like by two? Yeah, it's probably triple. Oh wow. Here's his eyes. I was biting, trying to bite his skull and I bit the eyes and his <laughs> eyes exploded inside of my mouth. Juicy. And I, I can say this, the octopus in Hawaii tastes a lot better in your mouth than, than the Miami. I don't know why. And a lot, they're a lot more red over there too. Oh, this, this doesn't look like something we want to eat. Let me see it. Oh. Now, they're, uh, they're kind of slimy, so you want to use sea salt to rub them down and uh, try and get that slime off. Oh, that makes sense. You want to do this like two or three times. Rub that salt in there. So you can see the slime is kind of rubbing oh, off yeah. with the salt. And we did uh, bleach this down first. You spotted it. I did. <laughs> I grabbed it. All right. So now I'm going to give it another nice little salt rub down. 
much exfoliating the octopus. Yeah. Trying to remove all the slime. The salt removes it and then sucks it into itself. Pulls it off the surface. You look like you'd be a good foot massager. I am a good foot massager. <laughs> Can you rub my feet? Yeah, I would. Gotta have hands of steel to massage an octopus at this size. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> and to catch an octopus this size. Whoa! <gasps> white shirt. You probably shouldn't be wearing a white shirt right now. Oh! Um. Drift. Dog. Drift. Drift. Get, get over, over here. here. Come here. Bad dog. Bad dog. No. No octopus for you. Silly. So are you gonna let me beat this thing? You wanna beat my octopus? Yeah, don't we have to beat him? Yeah, we gotta beat him. Beat him silly. Okay, that's the second uh second I'm gonna wash him down now. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't feel as uh, slimy at all. It feels feels a lot better. Oh yeah, it's like, oh wow. Yeah, he's ready to cook. That worked great. All yeah. right, so now we have a little tenderizing mallet. Wait, can I do the honors? Oh sure. We need a rag out here. You can use my pants. <laughs> all good. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm just beating it like I would like a piece of steak or a chicken yeah, or... Yeah, you just don't want to beat it to where you uh, sever the tentacles. Okay. Um, so just, yeah. Like that? Yep. Just a little bit. This is probably to like just loosen up the, yeah, you want the, the meat. The meat to be a little bit more tender. Yeah. It bites off in your mouth. too hard. <laughs> okay. It feels like it's kind of breaking up a little bit. Oh no. We're missing a piece. <laughs> that was like that when we caught him. Huh. I wonder if something tried to get him. Oh yeah. A lot of fish like these. Honestly, it's not as messy as I thought it was going to be. Alright, I don't know how, how much you beat this. Should I beat the head? Or the, should oh, I yeah. flip it over? Beat it all. Beat it all. Beat them all. Oh, sad head. <sighs> this is kind of a workout. Switching to the left arm now. my beating work. You might have to go to town on that thing. You know, it's an important part of it. Yeah. If you don't do this and tenderize it enough, then it's just chewy in your mouth and you just chew and chew, but if you tenderize it enough, it just, just bites right off. Oh yeah, it's kind of like, I feel like it's, it's getting a little, like it's breaking up some. Beautiful creature. Beautifully delicious. Yeah, right? Some people don't like to eat octopus. They say that they're uh, too intelligent for that. Yeah. That's my little secret how I got so smart. Eating octopus. Nobody knows you gain their intelligence when you eat them. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna 
gonna be mukbang in the night. Mukbang. Yeah, so I've decided to do a mukbang video with this octopus. Should be real interesting. Hopefully Judah joins me. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Okay, I think it's done. So we probably beat the octopus for like, probably like 12, 15 minutes. Are you ready? So now what? Uh, now we're gonna boil it in beer. Beer? Yep, boil it in beer, a little flavor. Flavor? And, uh, Is that why? Just flavor maybe? Yeah, flavor. I've heard, I've heard of people putting beer in their chili when they cook, so, I mean. I don't know exactly why, I mean, I didn't come up with it, it's just. Yeah. We're just, My um, buddy told me. He boils it. it in beer, and he's, uh, you know, been doing his whole life, Justin Lee in Hawaii. They he catch these all the time, yeah. Well, went over there on my birthday and watched him catch like seven or eight of them. And uh, I caught one and ate it, it's delicious. And this is my first one in Miami. Nice, Miami octopus. All right, yeah. so off to boil it in some beer. Off boiling, what kind of beer you like? A little IPAs, a little tasty. IPA? Sounds oh, good. Some IPA? Sounds good. Oh, Wait, man. should we boil it in White Claw? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Check out the sunset though. Beautiful night to cook that octopus. You ready, Drift? Where's Kimber? Oh, there's Kimber. Were you scared of the octopus beating? You guys ready? Back in the cold one. All right, so the beer that we're using is, never seen it before. We're using some tangerine IPA, some new Belgium, new Belgium passion fruit, Ballast Point Sculpin IPA. They're all left over from the party, you know. Nice, little <clears throat> nice variety here. We definitely gotta have some Corona. Of course. That's For all my brothers and Woo! sisters. That's, it, that's just like the Corona. It is. <laughs> Freaking little did they know. Screwing shit up <laughs> out of the blue. Little did they know you dropped the can of Corona before you could open it. Okay, okay, we're getting fancy up in here. This is for my homies. All the old Italians. God rest their souls. What a way to go. Seriously. It's no prayer. All right. So uh, we're gonna fire this puppy up. We're gonna boil some beer. I've never seen beer boil. This should be interesting. Yeah. Oh God, foamy as. Do you know how to pour beer? Just kidding. <laughs> We're not drinking no. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. Just taking a little chocolate break. So this is what beer looks like when it's getting boiled. Oh, it smells like beer. Okay. okay, the beer is boiling. Wait, boiling beer? Boiling beer. We're going to put the octopus in there for 15 to 20 minutes. Whoa, dang. Oh, look at it, it's already, already getting all uh, stiff. Oh, the tentacles are curling. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is gonna look really cool on a plate. Mm-hmm. So wait, oh, it's 15 to 20 minutes, boil it? Yeah, so right. about eight o'clock. I wish we had more, more beer, beer in there. We can just leave it in there a couple minutes longer, maybe. All right. Or if I just keep splashing the beer over. Try to flip it over. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I've never had octopus before, but this kind of looks pretty good. Not it's going to be delicious. <clears throat> All right, we'll be back. We'll be back after this short message from our sponsors. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in need for action-packed spearfishing adventures, you should check out... <laughs> if you're into spearfishing, you should check out my channel, The Fishing Adventures of Chuda Clark. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> if you're into action and adventure, you should visit 
the fishing adventures of Judah Clark for the most intense underwater action adventure you've ever seen. YouTube channel, Judah Clark. That was perfect, actually. That was fun. I don't know. I feel like when I'm looking at the camera and you're like, sometimes I, I like have this look where I'm like, like, like a deer, a, a deer in headlights after I saw like, yes. oh, wow. I'm not used to being filmed so much, actually. I'm That's normally okay. the one behind the camera. You're going to get used to it. Whoa. Wicked. The colors really come out uh, when you cook them. I forgot about that. Really? Oh, good. it is. Yeah, it's like super red now. Mm. I think if we just keep moving it around and it keeps getting wet, then it'll be all right. Flipping it over. Because we're, we're still putting it on the grill though, aren't we? Uh, yeah. So. Might be, might be helpful for us to fire up the grill. Oh, yeah. All right. Firing up the grill. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Is she looking done? Ooh. I know it's so hard to grip with those little things. It's such tough. There we go. It's crazy how perfectly like octopusy it looks. <laughs> Whoa. Nice and steamy. Ah. That looks pretty delicious. It does look pretty good. So uh, this is where the beak, this is where you got to make sure the beak doesn't get you. And then uh, we're going to throw it on the grill. I've got the, got the grill getting fired up. I'm going to throw a little hickory chips on there. It's going to be nice. Do you know how long we should grill it for? I'm just going to wing it. Sounds good. I wing a lot of things. <laughs> Let it cool down for a second maybe. Yeah. I don't touch it. Oh, it's so tough. It's not hot? Eh, it's not like, it's not like hot. I mean, it's hot, it's hot. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Hot. We gotta figure out how to grill this thing. Maybe we should YouTube it. When all else fails, YouTube. YouTube. So, we uh, soaked it, boiled it in beer, but I've got some of this hickory wood right here. This is from a hickory tree. On my grandmother's property in Atlanta, Georgia, the hickory tree died. My father chopped a bunch of this wood, sent it to me. We're gonna be smoking this octopus with some nice little family hickory. And uh, now we're going to kind of put a couple of cuts in this sucker so that it lays nicer on the grill. I don't want it to be whole because it just looks really cool. But we want it to grill evenly. Make some octopus salad too. Exactly how I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Alright, ready? That's the way I like to eat octopus. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and put it out on the grill right now. Check that baby out. Oh, and this is a little sneak peek on the next video. If you'll notice the octopus octopus pillows. Oh yeah. Grills nice and hot. I'm gonna throw some of this hickory wood. Just take a second to start smoking. It was about at 400 degrees. You can bake with this sucker, you can grill, you could smoke, you can do a combination of two, you can sear, anything you want. You can bake cookies? You can bake cookies, yeah, yeah. Got these cooking stones that you can uh, put on there. I've actually cooked steak and eggs on that. So it's starting, you can see it's starting to smoke. 
that's enough. Enough to get her get her going. Alright. How do I open this thing? Click her. Okay. Does it stay open? Alright. Alright, everyone we're putting it in this bowl or in this? That's right. Alright. The smoke. So we probably left it on the grill for like probably about three to four minutes per side. And it's looking pretty done to me. Put a little butter on there, a little sea salt, and call it a day. Ooh, it's like nice and crispy. Oh my gosh. Look how crispy this is. I'm gonna eat the burnt piece. Burnt to a crisp. All right, ready? I feel like this is gonna be pretty good. Delicious. All right. Oh my gosh, this looks insane right now. We just got done preparing the octopus and we made it look nice and pretty for our next video. Check this stuff out. Mukbang. Mukbang. Oh my gosh, this looks insane. Look at that. This is gonna be so cool. You ready? <laughs> Already. I'm hungry. I know, I'm starving. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Do it.